let me tell you about the malware detection so malware detection uh, uh, we have actually generated a uh, automated solutions for it end to end automation solutions comprising of the ui the api and the uh, the malware containers so what we do is we have actually created some typical scripts which actually generate the huge number of hashes and these hashes can be in term uh, in the form of executables they, they can be in the form of pdf or they can be in the form of phishing links inside the P, uh, pdf or in the c hash so these hashes that we create we load it in the containers based on certain rules and then validate if our malware scanner is able to generate events for the same so what is expected from them is they should be able to generate events stating that okay this is the malware that has been detect detected in the container so along with that we also cover the performance and load testing in this area in the malware detection wherein we uh, the the hashes that we generate are in the huge numbers let's say uh, 500 uh, hashes per minute or maybe uh, 1 million hashes per minute in that uh, huge quantity and we test our, our uh, malware scanners with the, these huge number of hashes and this actually defines the SLAs which our malware scanner has by measuring the CPU, the packets dropped or the memory that has been used. So also this, since this is about the malware, we act, our automation setups and the malware analysis in, is integrated with the Cuckoo Sandbox which helps in identifying the false positives and the false negative. So just to uh, let you know about the Cuckoo Sandbox, we actually, it's, an, uh, it's an actually an open source platform. You can create, you can float it, float one of it, and then you have a VM created specifically for your testing sand, in the sandbox environment. And then you have create some typical malware file and you get a complete analysis of it, uh, wherein you can leverage that data for uh, identifying the false positives and the false negatives. Also, we have automated the integration of Yara rules. Yara rules are nothing but similar to the Falco rules, which are typically for the malware detection. So we have created scenarios where these rules will be forcefully violated and accordingly events are generated and detected by our client applications. So along with these kind of uh, testing in the malware, malware detection, we have some typical functionalities in it wherein we can you know decide what would, what should be the course of action when a malware is detected for example one of them is prevent you we can actually choose that the container should be killed if malware is detected or stop it or keep it running in order to capture the uh, events that appear when the malware actually happens so you can capture the events right before so say 15 seconds and after the 15 seconds when the malware is detected this kind of analysis is actually very helpful in detect, uh, in uh, in uh, realizing or in detecting the behavior of that particular malware and that's how our uh, malware solution actually helps uh, the uh, our clients to detect and test the malware scanners uh, in their areas yeah thank you